In our health alerts tonight, a simple blood test could predict whether breast cancer survivors are at a risk of relapsing. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, is here with what this medical breakthrough means for those battling the disease. This is fascinating. Yeah, it's a little personal for me because multiple women in my family have had uh, have breast cancer, and I know how firsthand how long and difficult the treatment process can be. But there may be some good news in the battle against this disease. A recent study found that a simple blood test may accurately predict if breast cancer will return in some women, and that could potentially shorten the the treatment process for many people. So if you're talking to your doctor and want to ask about perhaps getting this test, what do you call it? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. So they're called liquid biopsies, uh, Stephen, and they, right. they look for stray cancer cells that are floating around in the blood. The hope is that someday we may be able to use these tests to shorten the amount of time that women have to stay on the hormone blockers after receiving treatments. And, and hormone blockers can have unpleasant side effects and many women may not need to stay on them for as long as the current guidelines suggest, so good news. Now, speaking of guidelines, I want to know some of the basic ones you've got. And you've always got those for us. Yeah, exactly. So women, first of all, Stephen, should follow the advice of the American Cancer Society to stay up to date on the official guidelines. But here are a few tips for the viewers out there. Know the warning signs, number one. Also, talk to your doctor early to come up with a plan. Thirdly, be aware of your family history and your risk level. And lastly, keep up with the recommended screenings and mammograms. Really important because you can pick it up early. So when will these become available? Heather, some of these actually are available now. These blood tests are, are available now. But the insurance companies claim that really that they haven't seen the evidence to prove that they reliably predict cancer. So most insurance companies uh, don't, call, don't cover them, and they cost up to 1000 bucks. Wow. So it's really an ex expensive option. But doctors are calling for more research, and the price tag could come down. And, and hopefully uh, a lot of women can uh, use it to, to help with uh, breast cancer. Great. And if, if you're at high risk, that might be a, uh, an investment worthwhile right now. Absolutely, Bruce, because breast cancer is kill, killing women uh, yep. in millions every year. All right. Thank you, Dr. Nandy. If you have a question a for pleasure. the good doctor, all you have to do to get a hold of him is send him an email at drnandy at wxyz.com. Or he's hanging out on Facebook and Twitter all the time. You can catch him there.